In this video, let's take a look at the must-have Skyrim new mods worth noting as we close out November 2023. You can look forward to the selection of mods in various categories, from visuals and characters to bug fixes and immersion. So without further ado, let's get started right away. First, let's delve into some visual and character-related mods. I'd like to highlight a few mods that caught my attention. First off, we have Trees of Fialin. This mod enhances all tree models and textures from the base game and DLC, adding new models and textures. It introduces a plethora of vibrant trees to Skyrim, elevating the diversity of the trees. However, it's worth noting that installing this mod requires Creation Club mods such as Fishing, Survival, and Curios, which may give some users pause. Nevertheless, Considering the quality of the trees themselves, if you're already using Creation Club mods from the Anniversary Edition, I'm confident that this tree mod will further enhance the trees in your Skyrim. Next up is Nerified Riverwood Female NPC Replacer Package, a package that replaces the adult female NPCs in Riverwood. They typically feature a distinctive appearance with full lips and well-defined facial features. While it significantly enhances the appearance of female NPCs in Riverwood, there's a sense that the diversity may be somewhat lacking. The creator mentions that the mod only alters visuals and weight, leaving equipment unchanged. Note that the installation requires the NUR Follower Assets Pack, so keep that in mind when installing. In this segment, I've explored some bug fixes and immersion-related mods, and there are a few I'd like to introduce. Firstly, let's talk about script optimization and fixes compilation. This mod consolidates script optimizations and corrections made by various mod authors into a single BSA and ESL file. With an all-in-one approach, it enhances script performance and stability while reducing bugs and conflicts. It efficiently replaces inefficient and buggy vanilla scripts. And while the creator has confirmed its stability in the AE environment, caution is advised for SSEUs due to unclear safety. The creator recommends placing this mod under USCEP and USMP and urges users to be mindful during installation. Next up is Scared of Shooting's NPCs React to Aiming Bows. This mod ensures that when the player aims bows and crossbows at NPCs, they react by complaining, fleeing, attacking, and reporting to guards. In such situations, NPCs voice their complaints, with vanilla actors having voice support. Some NPCs may flee when an arrow is aimed at them, while more confident ones might draw their weapons before reacting vehemently, potentially leading to a bounty if the situation escalates. Give it a try to enhance the immersion in Skyrim. I've been looking for Next up is Auto Read Notes. This mod triggers a message box asking Let's if you want see. to read unread like notes it. received Time while conversing with NPCs. Clicking Yes allows you to read the notes without searching in your inventory. Although simple, it seems like a convenient upgrade for your ease of use. Now you can optionally read quest notes immediately upon receiving them. In this segment, I've explored several mods related to animation that I'd like to introduce. First up is Van Argand Animations 2, Unarmed Non-Combat Locomotion. This mod alters actions outside of combat when unarmed. For instance, animations for idle, turning, walking, running, sprinting, and equipping or unequipping weapons are modified. These animations apply to both player characters and NPCs. If you've been a fan of Vero Levy's Van Argand animations, this mod is worth adding to your collection. Next up, we have the Freerin Staff Paraglider Animation Replace mod. This mod brings a touch of the manga Freerin to Skyrim's paraglider animations by adding staff paraglider animations in that style. The animation changes occur when a female character equips and draws a staff in her right hand. 
For male characters, there's the Dragon's Dogma levitation style. With this addition, you can enhance the diversity of paraglider animations in Skyrim. In this segment, I've explored some mods related to creatures, and there are a few that I'd like to introduce. First up is Ducks and Swans 2. This mod adds ducks and swans to Skyrim's lakes and ponds. It's a remake of the original Ducks and Swans for Skyrim SE by Modder Tamira, featuring new models and textures for more adorable and realistic ducks and swans. It operates as a standalone mod and works well with other water mods. Next up is Scuttlers, Mihail Monsters, and Animals. This mod introduces a new creature called Scuttlers, originally small and docile crustaceans from Morrowind. They have large heads and tails, feed on small insects and worms, and are sometimes kept by Dunmer for pest control. The mod places Scuttlers in various regions of Skyrim, implementing their unique characteristics and behaviors. Additionally, it adds weapons, magic, and alchemical ingredients crafted from Scuttler's flesh or materials. If you like the creatures showcased in the video, consider giving this mod a try. In this segment, I'd like to introduce several outfit-related mods. Firstly, there's the Halcon Cloth. It adds a lore-friendly yet high-quality outfit. Combining fabric and leather materials, this outfit offers various clothing options and diverse parts for a fun custom experience. Not only does it complement the female body shape beautifully, but the texture of the outfit is also exceptional. I highly recommend this outfit for your Skyrim adventures. Next, let me introduce the Medusa Armory mod. The Medusa Armory mod adds high-resolution female armor, Medusa armor, to Skyrim. This new female armor includes a bow, sword, and shield. The snake tail supports HDT, it features 2K textures, and notably requires ebony smithing to craft in the forge. With its unique design encompassing snake tails, snake hair, and overall distinctive weapons, shields, and armor, it maintains excellent quality. Considering the spid system, it might even be interesting to see female bandits wearing this set. If it catches your interest, give it a try. Thanks for joining us in exploring the must-have Skyrim mods for November 2023. If you enjoyed discovering these fantastic additions to your game, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more Skyrim content. Until next time, happy modding, and may your Skyrim adventures be truly legendary.